Hi there. Today I'm taking a look at one of the less seen Crew Beaujolais, Renier. Renier, less seen possibly because it's the newest of the crews. Um, it was only granted Appalachian status in its own right in 1988. Um, and this is a wine from uh, Jean-Paul and um, Charlie Thévenet. Um, it's the 2019 vintage. Renier uh, tends to be one of the lighter crews. Um, it tends to be at reasonable altitude and the soils there, as you might guess from the name of the cuvee, are uh, granitic pink granite, very fine um, sandy pink granite soils, particularly on the higher altitude sites um, that are cool and therefore make lighter, more elegant wines. Um, the Thévenet family, um, Jean-Paul, one of the um, pioneers of, of wine in this Appalachian um, was influenced by the ideas of people like um, Jules, um, Jules Chauvet and um, Marcel Lapierre and, and, and they were sort of quite believed in making wine in a quite natural sort of way so um, the ideas being that, that, that there's limited use of SO2 during vinification slight adding at bottling um, and um, use of natural yeasts, not chapitalising. Um, generally not using pesticides or herbicides. I mean, in fact, these vineyards are organically certified and, and largely farmed biodynamically. But, um, yeah, so, so um, what else? Also using, I think I might have said, indigenous yeasts to, for fermentation. Um, the vineyards for this particular wine actually belong to Charlie, who is... The, is um, Jean-Paul's son um, who uh, has come back to work with his father but actually bought some of his own vineyards so he, he bought two hectares of vines um, in two Ludis, uh, one called Les Braves and one uh, Eolite um, and these fabulous old parcels of vines um, one planted in 1932 and the other in 1946 so um, giving low yields um, because they're older vines and therefore don't don't produce as much fruit. Um, trained to gobelet, and so you, you have to hand harvest them. So very sort of traditional old vineyards. Um, the style of winemaking that the domain uses, um, it, as I say, minimal intervention. They, they don't like, um, uh, they don't pump over or um, push down to, to allow a gentle natural extraction. Um, they use 100% um, whole bunch ferments, so you'll get that. Um, uh, semi-carbonic maceration going along there which preserves the lovely fruit flavours there. Uh, there's no oak use at all so the wine is fermented and aged in concrete tanks. So they're trying to do everything to preserve the character of the fruit and of the particular vineyard as well into the bottle there for us. So so let's let's have a look at this wine and see what we think of it. Um, first of all you've got a medium ruby red by no means opaque at all. Um, nice vibrancy of colour it's not fading it's a three-year-old wine so it should be should be about at its optimum for its aromas the aromas are the aromas are delightfully scented the perfume is is uh, open and lifted there's lovely red fruit there there is a depth of fruit there's a sort of a, a mulberry and dark raspberry note there but there's a lifted strawberry and a red cherry um, attractive juiciness coming out of there I mean, if, if aromas can be juicy um, so yeah, lovely, attractive, um, perfumed fruit. Let's have a taste. That's a fresh, medium weight wine. It's got lovely acidity. It's got some nice concentration of fruit. But up front, first of all, there's this delicious, perfumed red fruit. Some of it, the sort of delicacies of sort of wild strawberry, some of it a bit more sort of rich, ripe juiciness of, of red cherry. Um, and behind that, a sort of a, more of a sort of a mulberry note and maybe some hints of spice. There's no oak influence, so there's not a sort of a cedariness, but, um, you know, just sort of like the sort of the pips of raspberries or something like that in the, in the, in the background there. A relatively simple wine, but giving... You know, a number of aspects 
giving them really well, very attractive. The um, acidity is good, so the flavours are lasting really nicely, and there is a fruit concentration that still at the finish there's a depth of fruit. It's not sort of simply ethereal, although there is a lovely sort of a, a dancing red fruit in there as well. So um, this um, particular wine is uh, the most searched for of our wines from Ren Renier on the, the, every year on the um, Wine Searcher website. Um, and it, it, I think a really typical example of what you're looking for from Renier. What, what's, what I've found as I've been doing these um, videos of the Cru Beaujolais is actually I've, if I've been picking wines that are some of the best from the region, often they're um, atypical, they're transcending the style of, of a particular Appalachian. But this I think is representing Renier really, really nicely. So yes. Um, a wine from um, Jean-Paul and Charlie Thévenet, um, the 2019. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.